I raced against Formula 1 driver Lando Norris in this three-race championship, the Logitech G Challenge Celebrity Grid. Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Suelo Almeida, and you're about to learn lots of racing tips that will help you become a better driver by subscribing to this channel. There's a little gift for you at the end of this video. Well, what a star studded field we have, of course. Lando Norris needs no introduction. Tony Kanaan, an absolute legend in the world of motorsport. And then we've got Suelio Almeida, an incredibly talented driver, a driver coach in the world of sim racing as well. I mentioned it before, three races, that means three different circuits. Be Swelly Almeida starting things out at the top of the grid in position one. Okay, how did I get the pole position against these guys? Well, preparation is key. I spent around four hours practicing in a set of course of competition, trying to understand the tire model and adapt to the behavior of the McLaren GT3 car in this game. This extra practice time was an advantage over my competitors, as Formula 1 drivers and ED500 champions don't have as much spare time to drive in simulators. One of the main differences between a set of course of competition and I racing, which is my main simulator, is the way the tire surface temperature affects the grip of the car. I had to slide the car a lot more and use more ABS to extract lap times in a set of course of competition, whereas in iRacing you have to baby the tires throughout the corner to prevent overheating and less grip. There's Almeida, probably the driver we expected to be at the front, of course, being a uh, three-time F3 champion in the world of sim racing. Just to reach that level is one thing, but to go out there and win it is very impressive indeed. So yeah, expecting uh, him to be out there. Of course, Norris, who races with Max Verstappen in the world of sim racing. Maybe not so much these days, but has done in the past and has won some major honors within the world of sim racing. <laughs> one of the best drivers in the world, right? Races in Formula One. Okay, breathe, just do your best and survive. And it's lights out and away we go here. Number one, almost contact then between Lando and indeed Swilio. As we come down towards turn number one and there is contact then. And Lando now is going to be under some severe pressure. We've got Hobson then trying to find a little move up the inside in towards turn number two. We'll go late on the brakes. Lando closes across the nose there. Does hold on to position. Oh, and he's been spun then. Well, no, I don't think he... Okay, this looks very good for me. He had some problems. I just need to keep driving. Make no mistakes. I'm pretty sure he's going to pick up the pace and maybe catch up towards the end of the race. So let's focus. Contact. He moves up to top three, but Almeida already up in the order. He's gone about a second and a half in the lead. Perfect start there for Almeida. That's a big story for Almeida is just how cleanly he's able to get away from things at the beginning of this. No disruption despite Lando attempting to get a good line. So yeah, 1.6 seconds now the advantage then from Almeida. Lando Norris with a bit of work to do here. Speaking of which, Norris are a little bit wide coming off of turn three, but as you mentioned... Okay, it looks like he's making some mistake. This is very good for me. Let's just keep doing the same thing. He's unfortunately still struggling to catch up to Swellio as he's continuing to dominate in first place. We'll check. It's just four minutes left. No mistakes. He's not going to catch up two seconds if I drive consistently. He is not going to do it. One, Almeida still looking so, so strong. Three seconds ahead here. As much as he knows that Almeida is an incredible driver, Lando Norris is not going to be happy being in second. Lando was even catching up a little bit towards the end of the race, but this happened. Lando Norris has made a huge error here. Is Ooh. he going to save it? No, he's not. Into the wall we go. And this had an opportunity for Hobson. Damage is on, of course. That is going to be a very slow McLaren. Rock now imagine the breeze. Well, across the line, and there is the checkered flag. It is race win here for Almeida in race one of our celebrity grid here. In the second race at the Hungara ring, we started at the back of the grid. There was a bit of confusion right there at the start, but me and Lando tried making the best out of it, so we quickly went out to P1 and 2. Top 2, that's been the story all day, is Norris versus Almeida, as they try to race against each other. Of course, Almeida having a tougher start this time since he won the previous race, having to start from P8 all the way in the back of the line, but he's continuing to make gains on Lando. Okay, it looks like I'm having a better run at this first lap. I need to try something, but I'm not sure if I'm going to cause a crash right now, so maybe I should try it later? I don't know flow up towards this sweeping right-hander. It's uphill braking, but again, Lando holds firm, defending, well, very valiantly here. Runs a little bit wide. Now we come up towards the chicane on the back straight. And to be fair, you know, if you- All right, super close here. He's got a bad accident on the chicane, but I can't do anything. It's too tight here to make a pass. Lando just needs to position the car in the correct position, and you're all good. Force Almeida to maybe be a little overzealous and make a mistake himself here. But look at him almost touching bumper to bumper as we head then towards the final few corners of this lap. We did see Almeida get a Don't die. better exit coming oh, off of the mistake. chicane because he checked in. But we are going to see him slip off just a little bit here and lose some time on it as he comes back around to Norris. This was incredibly fun. I had the opportunity to race against a Formula 1 driver for the whole race. We were battling quite hard. I wouldn't say too hard. I actually ended up being too cautious and lost some opportunities to actually dive bomb and try to get that P1. Can I maybe try to be a little bit more aggressive towards the end of the race? Fifth, Maxime in sixth, Ash Vandalet in seventh, and Cleo Thomas as well in eighth place. And up to the final chicane here. 
We're going to see Landon Norris get some smooth navigation going on. It Woo! runs wide a little bit again into the dirt here. This could be an opportunity for Swellio as he comes back around, but not looking like he's going to be able to immediately capitalize on it. We'll see as we move up to the final turns if it will close the gap enough, but I believe Norris might have just been able to defend it. Yeah, he's run wide there. He would have maintained a bit of speed, actually. Uh, just by the nature of opening up the circle on the exit. Runs wide once again uh, into the third to last corner. We will come. It's still Norris that leads. Almeida again opening up this right hander a little bit better here and actually might have a bit of a run down towards turn number two. Not close enough to do it here, but it's going to come down to that final corner. Lando hugs that apex, will run the car out nice and wide. Do you dare take an open entry? He will, he will open up. Well, Swelio, nope. It's too late, man. You lost your chance to make the pass. Guys, do not lose your chance to make a pass. If you can try it, try it. Otherwise, you might lose the chance forever. What a race from him. Almeida. But we're looking good here. We are ahead on the points. There's just one more race to go. This one certainly had a challenger throughout most of this race, though. And that was the real story. Swellio constantly trying to catch up. But unfortunately, that back of the pack start just gave him a little bit too much of a disadvantage. Now, this is how lucky I was on the beginning of the third race. Check this out. Currently starts in second position. Uh, and then down towards the turn one across the start finish line we go. And we are now green light racing. And already a massive carnage then as we hit into the wall there. I think that might have been Lando involved in that. He is P3 as it stands. Almeida already up to P2. Not the cleanest of starts here in Mizano. But ultimately, the front three oh well i'll tell you what almeida then nearly gets tagged by lando uh, okay this one i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to hold him because i really don't know the track there's so much time to be found and he's right there he might try something something has to happen i'm just gonna defend on the inside and hope for the best hot on the tail though, only 0.2 seconds behind tony Kanan is well inside of this pack as it's much more congested at the start of mazzato here for us oh there's some contact there between Kanan. really the winner of this is almeida isn't it almeida into the distance Oof, that's exactly what I needed. All right, he might still catch up. I just need to do my laps with no big mistakes and I will win this. Found in the first sector here uh, of lap number three. Maybe Norris has got some treats in store for us over the next five and a half minutes. At this point, with the previous results, you can already see the happiness in my face, right? <laughs> I'm definitely telling my grandchildren about But it is Almeida then who takes the victory. We'll have the most amount of points here and we'll take the championship as well. It was the Almeida show in the end today, wasn't it? Absolutely outstanding from start to finish. As Swellio dominates and takes number one for today's challenge. Wait a second. One more factor that played a role in my win is that I was racing my own rig. While Lando was racing a rig he probably never used before, this could have made it harder for him to get into the right mindset and perform at his best immediately. Imagine driving in a friend simulator with totally different pedal angles, height, seat height, distance monitors, etc. Whenever I try new sims, I'm two seconds slower until I get comfortable with it. To perform at your best, you need to have good posture and get used to the equipment you'll be using. And most importantly, you need lots of track time to master the car and track combo you'll be racing on. So yeah, you guys can definitely see that it was not necessarily fair, but you know, I will still brag about it. Now for the gift. I have taught over 1,600 drivers and I've noticed the most important technique development patterns. That's why I created the Motor Racing Checklist, an online course that explains the most important factors to improve your driving skills quickly and develop good habits instead of bad ones. So far, we have over 1,200 drivers enrolled in the course and you can join too. Here's a 20% discount code as a thank you gift for sticking with us until the end of this video. You will have lifetime access to the lessons and I'm consistently adding new stuff there from your feedbacks. If this video inspires Inspired you to go practice more, subscribe to this channel and I will be posting a lot more videos with more technique tips in the next few days. See ya!